Hey, exciting day here at CC Tech. Uh, I'm Sean McDonald, one of the construction trades teachers. And behind me, you get to see a project we've been working on for about a year, year and a half. Uh, maybe going closer to two years. Um, you know, it started out as a tiny house, but I don't want to. I don't want to limit that. You know, this could be a tiny house. It can be a hunting lodge. It can be a she shed. It can be a, a home office. It can sit at a tra You know, at a campground as a seasonal. Uh, it's up to you, the person that wants to be the proud owner of this of this uh, dwelling that we've been working on here at CC Tech. So, a couple of things I want to talk to you about about our project here is um, some of the, you know, basically what it is. So it's a, it is a, a home on wheels, basically. It's uh, Grand Estate uh, Trailers. They're the ones who provided the tiny house trailer for us, set up exactly for a tiny house for moving. Uh, everything is specced for DOT, which is awesome for you. The, the building itself came to us from Jamaica Cottage out of Vermont. It's a kit that we bought, a post and beam kit, went together awesome couple minor things we had to change just to get the layout that we wanted but overall very happy with both of them Granite State and Jamaica Cottage really came through for us outside the building you can see it it is wood okay it is a uh, board and batten uh, pine that came to us with the kit has two coats of Cabot finish on it already for you so you don't have to worry about anything uh, exterior wise we got a thermatrue door we got Pella windows we got a metal roof everything you possibly need to keep this house nice and safe and, and uh, safe from the weather. So you might be wondering, how do we come up with this idea? How do we come up with the idea of a tiny house? Well, you know, with administration, we sat down and we, we said, what can we do with our seniors that would be a, a project we can get our hands around and complete in a year that would take us from the basic beginning of a, of a construction project to the very end, the finished product. So the tiny house was a perfect fit for us. Unfortunately for COVID, uh, the class of 2020 didn't get a chance to finish this. So I, I'm a little bummed about that. They put their heart and soul into this to get it to, you know, I'd say about eh, maybe 65, 70% completed. And then it was up to the senior class of this year, the class of 2021, that is, as, that is really put in, kicked into high gear and got us to the finished product. So it's a senior project that we work on. It takes focuses on all the facets of construction, uh, except for masonry, obviously, because we're on wheels. But it hits everything else. When we go inside, you're gonna to get to see some of these finishes and some of these mechanicals that the students were able to work on. All right, you ready to see the inside? Come on in. So, you know, this is a tiny house. This is meant for someone to live in. Uh, so basically, we have it broken up into the, the main sections that you would see in, in an everyday house. Um, right in front of me, uh, and Ryan's got the video going, which I'm very thankful for. This is our living area slash sleeping area. The only thing that's missing right now, and if you can picture it, we have a sofa bed that's coming. So it's on its way. So don't worry about it. We have, we have somewhere for you to, to, to uh, lay your head down at night and take a, uh, a nice sleep, okay? So sofa bed is going here. And then if I can get Ryan to spin around, we have it all set up here for uh, TV. Uh, we have electrical, we have coax, and we have the, uh, the phone line. Uh, so picture yourself, flat screen TV here, couch, TV, perfect area to chill out and relax, okay? Uh, right next to us, we got a nice, beautiful piece of maple slab that we turned into a bar area slash um, dining room table. So it's perfect for two, three stools, uh, perfect height. Uh, you can eat, relax, chill, uh, schoolwork regular work computer whatever you want to do it's right here we got the nice window fresh air coming in you gotta love it all right turn around you know we're, you need a kitchen right we got a fully functioning kitchen here uh, handcrafted by the students here at CC Tech unbelievable job that they did all right um, we have poplar cabinets so everything you see here is poplar the reason we chose poplar was because um, you have your own choice you can stain the poplar or you can paint it poplar is awesome to hold paint uh, or stain. So that's up to you. Uh, we decided not to finish this only because we want it to be up to the customer, the, the, the homeowner, tiny house owner, uh, for you to choose. We did go with the butcher block countertop, very versatile, but also travels well. Another thing that we had to think about. 
All right, we got really deep sink here, which is awesome. Uh, we got the pull out nozzle, all right, nice and deep. You know, we're limited with space, but a nice big uh, sink allows you to do so many options. Um, even if you have to wash your clothes, you have the option right here, all right? Beautiful stainless steel backsplash that we got. And then here, hidden behind it, underneath this butcher block, believe it or not, that's our cooktop. A little dirty, we'll get it cleaned up for you, don't worry about it. Two burner, um, electric cooktop, uh, perfect for, uh, for the tiny house, all right? So that's that's your kitchen right here. All right, we spin around Nice closet space pantry clothes, whatever you need. Obviously tiny house. You're limited uh, with your space But we got we got ourselves a nice closet in here so that you have enough room to uh, hang clothes Food pantry whatever you need uh, Once again CC Tech students came up with the idea of the pallet using pallet boards uh, to sheath uh, some of the interior walls uh, I love the look of it um, you know, we went with the rustic look. It goes really well with the post and beam that you see here that Jamaica Cottage uh, provided us. So it is a post and beam structure. Everything is wide open. The last year, this, the class of 2020 came up, came up with the idea of finishing the inside of, of the boards here. And it's actually was a really cool, unique process. It's actually a whitewash. So it's uh, a dark walnut stain they put on, and then they came back with a, uh, a whitewash paint and gave us this beautiful color so it came out really really cool very happy with it they were ecstatic when they uh, got this all finished so so here we go uh, one thing I do want to mention Ryan if you can get a shot of the floor um, you know we went with a vinyl plank flooring really rustic looking but it holds up well to the weather right so um, you know we wanted something that will be able to travel well but also be able to last, and uh, this is a perfect, uh, perfect option for us in this tiny house. All right, um, real quick, we got our uh, panel system here, our electrical. It's an AC-DC uh, panel, progressive, des progressive designs, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, actually, probably if I look here, progressive dynamics, I got it. All right, progressive dynamics, meant for tiny houses. Okay, it's an AC-DC. We have it all hooked up right now for only AC, but you can easily convert it to DC uh, if you wanted to use this as, as a, basically a travel trailer. Okay, this is a 60 amp panel, plenty of power for this system. We actually have a 50 amp RV connection outside that uh, will power this. So uh, plenty of power here. Okay, well, we're very happy with that. Uh, right here, we left a nice opening here for a mini fridge or a full-size fridge if you want it. It's up to you. Uh, so we have the power for that as well. Okay, uh, barn door. If you're going to go rustic, you might as well go with the barn door, right? Uh, this door actually came with the kit from Jamaica Cottage. We repurposed it. Uh, students came up with the idea, let's make it a barn door. So it came out really cool. So what's behind the barn door? Well, the final part of our tiny house, the bathroom. So we still have a little bit of work left to do in here. Um, our our kit, our um, sorry, our bathroom vanity is still missing the drawer fronts, which they're they're um, about 50% done. We just got to finish putting them together, and then we're discussing what we want to do for the countertop. If we're going to do concrete, uh, or if we're going to do a, a wooden countertop, we're still deciding on that. So um, we went with the galvanized roof for the siding, give it a little rustic, a uh, little, um, I guess you say, um, mechanical feel, industrial feel. So we went with that. I think it looks pretty sharp. Lightens it up a little bit in here, which is nice. And then if I get out of the way, Ryan, if you can get a quick shot, we do have a full shower in here. So, uh, you know, we need that in a tiny house. So uh, full shower. Um, and then finally, the only thing that we are missing, and this is something that we were still a little, uh, we're still waiting to see, decide um, how we want to handle it. But and let me back up. We, um, so what are we going to do with, with the water closet, the toilet? You know, everybody's asking, well, where, where's it going to go? We have this set up for a compostable toilet. I think that is the best way to go. It's environmentally friendly. It was easier for us to, to worry about our drain and vent system. So uh, we left the area right here for a compostable toilet. And that's going to be a personal choice for some people because there's so many different options out there. But we did leave the power for it. 
in case for the for the um, compostable toilet. And then uh, there's plenty of space here for the drain if we need to do that. Okay. Uh, finally, finally, I know I said that before with the bathroom, but here it is. We have to be comfortable in our tiny house. So the students went ahead and we did, we installed this Mr. Cool Mini Split uh, heating and cooling system. So this is set up for I believe a 750 square foot room. We're dealing with about 160 square foot, so plenty of power, plenty of comfort coming out of this Mr. Cool system. So like I said, it's a heating, it's a heater and it's an air conditioner. Uh, it is controlled by an app. So if you have this tiny house, you can control how, you know, you're controlling the, the climate in the house um, right from your phone, which is an awesome feature. So that's basically it, everybody. This is your tiny house. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to meeting the person that gets to take this home with them. Thank you.